I'm about to tell you about an incredibly nice 1972 Buick GS 455 Stage 1. This is one of the 728 Stage 1 hardtops that were built total. I think they built about 80 convertibles, so it's an extremely low production car. Not only is there a letter V in the VIN number that says it's a Stage 1, but we also have it verified with a build sheet and another half a build sheet. And the car was ordered, sold in Boulevard Buick, Long Beach, California, loaded with options. I haven't seen a build sheet this full of options in a long time. I bought this from an 80-year-old gentleman. He's owned it for 18 years. Uh, he was really sad to see the car go. This was his baby. It's incredibly nice, zero rust, original panels, uh, rebuilt motor, runs strong. I mean, it is clean, 21,000 miles, and he swears that's the original miles. He knows the history of the car, which I'll share more about it in a little bit. And I'm telling you, I'm trying to disprove the, the miles because that's a big claim, and I can't. This thing's really clean. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read about it. Look at all the pictures top to bottom, and that's where you'll find a price tag on every car along with a finance uh, monthly payment amount as well. We also have a buy it now button. I strongly suggest you hit that button if there's a car you're just thinking about that'll lock it in for you uh, until you think and talk to the salesman. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon, you'll be notified when the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Yeah, the body is outstanding. It was painted one time uh, years ago. A uh, little more of the story is uh, this guy was from Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, when he bought the car, it was taken apart. The guy who took it apart to paint it, and it just sat. You know, one of those ambitious projects that you don't get around to. So it sat for many years. Uh, he bought it. He had it painted and had suspension rebuilt and, and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, the paint job on here is probably about 15 to 18 years old. The body's excellent. I mean, really nice. The factory spot welds along the bottom of the original quarters. Everything's absolutely straight. Fits nice. No bubbling, no shrinking, no body work showing. This is all A++. Yep, I feel the factory spot welds under there. Clean right around this little lip right here. All beautiful, nice stuff. Shuts like a new car, absolutely aero straight, sport mirrors, absolutely clean, clean body. Same thing with the hood, Obvious, obviously it's got the functional ram air uh, hood system on it. Uh, <clears throat> vinyl tops in excellent shape, I mean it looks like new, really nice shape. Repainted its original color. I'd say it's a show quality paint job, probably better than it was when it was new because it's polished like glass. I'm trying to remember the name of the color, I'll, I'll think of it or find out in just a minute. Uh, but all the metal flake is laid out, the clear coat is beautiful, it looks wet, it looks very deep like you could reach right in. So getting back to the body, this side's just as clean and square and straight and really nice. Shuts real nice, no rattly windows or nothing like that. So body is A++. All the trim is real nice. All this stainless, probably original, just has you know that very minimal light surface marks, but it's shiny, it's straight. Door handle's real shiny. The back glass is real clear. It's original glass, has a, just a few really light scratches. The bumpers were re -chromed. This has the N25 option. See how that exhaust tip is coming right through the bumper? That's a factory option. It has the optional rubber strips and the optional bumper guards. And it all looks beautiful. The little rubber fillers right in here. The bumper fits the body real nice. It came with 15 by 7 uh, Buick Chrome Mag wheels. These things look like new, and they might even be 8-inch eight, eight wide. These... Uh, uh, they're, they're like brand new, they're sparkling. BF Goodrich tires still has the nubs on the tread. 
optional body molding. Uh, the stage one, I believe, had the red stripes instead of black along the rocker moldings. You can correct me if I'm wrong on that. Front bumper looks original. It's got just enough tarnish on it where you're up close. Uh, it looks original. Again, bumper guards and the rubber strips. The rubber strips are not even beat up. Uh, indicator of low mile car, in my opinion. The grill is in excellent shape. This chrome up here is probably new because it's brilliant. Windshield's real nice and clear. So there we have the outside. Now let's open it up and show you how nice it is inside. Now I'm acting like a detective on this car. I'm honestly trying to disprove the original miles, and I, I can't. The rear bumper is re-chromed, and like I said, the rubber strips are original. I'm pretty certain they don't remake these, and they're not beat up. And when I look real close, this bumper guard is the original chrome. It has just enough patina, I mean very slight, compared to this. So this is all original right here. I also just looked at the windshield. This is the original windshield, and it's super clear. Almost every car I sell has a new windshield put in it by now. This trunk is going to be like new. The whole car was repainted one time. It's burnished copper. I just looked up the name of the color, and it's painted real slick. And look at the factory seam, uh, original quarters. The rubber is new. That's the original trunk spatter all around the edges. They did touch up under the mat. It does have a new mat. It does have a, like a GS spare with the BF Goodrich tire. And the jack assembly is all underneath there as well. So it's a very clean and complete uh, trunk compartment. Door jams are spotless. The door weather strips were replaced. The rubber up around the uh, roof line, that's the original. It's got a couple marks on it. Now, he says the interior is all original except the carpet. I mean, it's like brand new. Look at that door panel. But the reproduction door panels don't fit that nice. So I, I think they are original, and they're in outstanding shape. It's got a remote mirror. It's got power windows. And, and this here, there are a couple screws someone put in at some time. But all of this here is not beat up. Uh, optional gauge cluster, optional rally clock. Optional rear defroster, and again, not beat up, original AM, FM radio, all nice and clean. Up on top, there is a crack in the corner. I didn't even see it until I was looking for the, the stamp on the windshield, and I seen it. Got the owner's manual, glove box is real nice and clean. He said he did put new carpet in it, also has Skylark floor mats. The center console is mint. I mean, this is not beat up at all. This is not what a 121,000 mile car would look like. Not to mention, it's not worn at all. It's got the bumpies. It does have an aftermarket gauge cluster uh, he installed. And again, the seats, he say, are original, but God, they're like brand new. Uh, but they fit so nice. And I will tell you, this plastic trim is original. It's not the shiny, bright chrome that you get when you buy new stuff. So that that's original. The headrest, the back of the seat, and everything is all one color. When you start putting in reproduction, it's all different colors. Um, <clears throat> back seat is all mint condition. Beautiful. Got the mesh speaker tray in back. The headliner is in real good shape. You're not going to be able to see it, but there is a, a tear that was sewn shut do have the shoulder belts visors look real nice it's got the sport steering wheel and again it's not brand new like someone just bought it but it's not worn either and it says a tilt column it has the light package too like the light in the uh, trunk and i think in the glove box and probably under the hood So the story is Buick replaced the engine block under warranty. It is a correct, I checked the casting codes, it is a correct engine. Uh, it was completely rebuilt. You had the heads remachined, and it seems like it's hopped up a little bit. This is, this is a, 
a muscle car here. So it is a correct engine. Stage ones come with the chrome valve covers. I'm trying to look at the intake. That looks like it's an Edelbrock intake and a dual, it looks like a dual feed Halley carb. You know, this all is here in a complete, a complete Ram air, air cleaner system. I'm looking at the original exhaust manifolds. They look like they're uh, ceramic or uh, some sort of coating on them. This is not painted over. It's the raw fiberglass. This is all nice and clean. Got cold air conditioning. The sticker is still on the alternator. It has the new alternator. The overflow bottle is not cracked or broken. Battery has a disconnect switch. There's also a disconnect switch under the seat, I believe. A hidden one but everything's clean nice you know the the strap for the hose is here the california pollution can the washer bottle it does have a hotter cam in there so it has a vacuum reservoir um, we got power steering power brakes with a cadmium plated booster got the hood insulation everything on the cowl the vents the rubber it's all there so just a really, really nice motor compartment. So underneath this car is really, really nice. It's about the cleanest original floors I've ever seen. They're smooth, they're not pitted. The braces, the rockers, the, the pinch welds, everything is immaculate metal. Someone's probably dusted it with some black paint so it looks like brand new. This has the rally suspension. That's the sway bars front and back, box control arms in back, and he rebuilt all of it. All the steering and suspension front and back is completely redone. All the components are nice and clean. Uh, it has the real nice sounding dual exhaust. I already told you about the tips that go right out the back bumper. Uh, that's the N25 option. It's on the build sheet. You know, these were disc brakes in front, drum in back. It's all working uh, perfectly. The e-brake is hooked up. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's spotless, the starter looks new, the flywheel cover is there. It does have its original VIN number match turbo 400 automatic. Also has the tag on the side with the BB code on it. That's stage one only. So it also documents uh, that it's the original for the car. Pretty certain he said that was completely rebuilt too. Uh, the rear end is so clean, it still has the assembly line paint markings on it. Again, not even pitted, uh, and it's original. I don't think it's ever even been spray painted, and it's the optional 342 Posi gear in the rear end. So under this car is extremely impressive and clean. So you got a, a rare, extremely rare, highly documented, uh, super, super clean Buick Stage 1 right here. Go to volocars.com. The salesman can help answer the rest of your questions, including how to get this in your driveway, how to get it financed. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon so you're notified when the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.